Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our review of the Langham Hotel in Melbourne. You join us as we're leaving our hotel in Sydney and flying to Melbourne for a two day stay in the city. The Langham Hotel is located on South Bank, directly opposite Flind or the other side of the river to Flinders Street Station. As you walk into the hotel, you're greeted by this lovely traditional English telephone box which has been done up in flowers and then walking up to our room which was 1401 a deluxe room that we booked with a river view originally upgraded to a deluxe river corner room so immediately as you walk in on the left hand side you have the bathroom and then you have your area that we've just passed with the drinks cabinet etc Traditional kind of old hotel style flooring, very, very comfy bed and loads of space, especially when if you've watched our hotel on the Curio Hotel or West Hotel in Sydney, you'll see we didn't have an awful lot of room with the amount of bags we had. So you've got this nice desk set up, power everywhere as you would expect, and then a dual aspect view. One of the views overlooks the river, and there we can see Flinders Street Station on the other side of the river. We can also look down and see Ponyfish Island Bar under that bridge in front of us. Spinning back round, you've got this lovely big TV, plenty of power sockets, a nice sofa area and a chair to sit with a coffee table, as well as a desk as we've said, jacket hanger, and then here is your fridge area and fully stocked minibar. Just be careful with the minibar because we actually got charged for something that we didn't have. Uh, I think being one of the old style ones where the maid has to look at what you have and haven't taken, just be mindful of that. And that menu just gives you an overview of prices as well. And of course the snack drawer that everyone loves. In the fridge, wine, fresh juices, etc., as you'd expect. And we took our water bottles from Hamilton Island, which you can see in the fridge there. If you haven't seen that video, please do go and check it out. Walking into the bathroom, you've got a separate shower and bath, which is always lovely. Bath isn't a full length bath, but it's definitely long enough. One thing that also I found really cool here as well is that for the first time in a long time, it was a hotel that had the volume adjustments for the TV and it actually worked which is quite unusual these days and then of course on the right hand side you've got your double vanity shaver socket etc as you would expect there were robes in the wardrobe and of course all the towels you need just on the right hand side is where you would see the Langham so we're just on the Yarra River will we stay in the Langham again absolutely being upgraded to a deluxe river corner room was fantastic and I would say actually very worth the money for the space and the view that you get. Also the way that we booked it meant that we got free breakfast. Unfortunately I don't have any footage or pictures of the breakfast but I would say it was brilliant. We also used the Wilson parking under the hotel which was great and when you could walk straight out from the car and into the lift which would take you up to the kind of valet parking area outside the hotel and then you would just walk into the hotel and take a lift up to your bedroom. So that's all on our review of the Langham Hotel. In summary, we'll definitely stay there again, but please like and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna shortly be bringing you more videos of our Australian adventure, such as the perfect few days in Sydney, the perfect days in the Blue Mountains, and in our opinion, the perfect time spent in Melbourne CBD. As usual, if you've got any questions, please put the comments below and we'll get back to you.